In this video, we'll be taking a look at partitioning a table. To do this, go to Table, Partitions, and you'll be met with this screen with the query. But first, what I want to show you is how currently there are, also in our deployed version, no other partitions. We just have the one all-inclusive one. But what we want to do is, is allow for segmenting this data into different partitions, specifically by date. So uh, to do this, let's go to design and it will open up this Power Query Editor, which is new for newer versions of SQL Server. SQL Server, And we'll filter this by date. So just like an Excel sheet, let's click this drop down and add a filter. This data is a little bit older. It's from earlier in the 2010s. So we will filter this by uh, first, the first partition we'll do just for the year of 2010 data. So the first of 2010 greater than or equal to and less than the first of January in 2011. So the idea here is that our partition, our partition will only bring in data that meets that criteria. So let's close. And when we look at the query here under filtered rows, we can see that date. So unlike before when we would use SQL, now we have to filter a query that looks more like this. So let's give it a name. We'll call this Internet Sales 2010. And then we'll go down and click OK just to have it save and, and uh, process. So now all of our data is filtered by just 2010 based on that partition we made. And if we were to deploy this, this would be the only data we'd have. But the idea here is we want to create multiple partitions to allow us to process it in different phases, in different chunks. So let's create a few more. We'll create one for 2011. And now since this query is already here, we can just adjust the dates. Create a new one. It'll copy the logic again, rename the partition, and we'll call this uh, after 2011. And just have this be everything after uh, starting uh, 2012 and, and make a large date, three, year 3000, just to get everything else. So again, the idea here is that once we deploy this and we want to process, this, process it in a job, we can select a specific partition. In this case, maybe we only want to partition things from this year or this year forward. That's what allows us to do it. And if we look at the tables, we see the three that we made here. 2010, 2011, after 2011. And we can, again, show here that we can process them individually. Let's do all of them, just for the, for the sake of example. But in a real environment, you could select just one, let's say. All right, so now let's save and deploy this out to see what it looks like. back into Visual Studio and if we refresh the screen now we will see the three that we made and that's it we now have our partitions and we can select which ones we want to process in our jobs thanks for watching